so today we're doing mirrors and reflection the law of reflection basically so here's a surface and here's a spot perpendicular to that surface as light comes in to a surface it is incident on the surface and so you have an angle of incidence it will reflect off at the same angle. So your angle of reflection and your angle of incidence are the same. That's the law of reflection. Your incident angle and your reflected angle are the same when you have perfect reflection. There's two different types of reflection. There's diffuse reflection, which means you have um, reflection off of a rough surface. spell I promise a rough surface which means that your light bounces back at many directions and then you have specular reflections so that's when you have a very smooth surface and this is where you have that um, that law of reflection is perfect okay um, be because you're well it's it's happening here too it's just your surface might be tilted one way or the other. This one, it's not tilted, it's perfectly straight. So this is when you have a very smooth surface. So you have a uniform direction for all light, okay? Um, so think of this, this is like off the surface of very calm water this would be like off the surface of snow. Okay, so you're gonna get sunburned either way um, from underneath, which is why you need to put sunscreen on even under your chin when you're uh, skiing and if you're in water. Okay, different types of images that result. So real images, these are formed by light rays that actually intersect. These particular images can be projected. The distance of the image away from the mirror is, is noted by a D. DI for image, it has a positive DI, but it has a negative HI. So a positive distance of the image away from the mirror, which means it's projected in front of the mirror. A negative HI is the height. This is the height of the image. This is projected bef uh, below the sight line, which means it's upside down. It's inverted. So an inverted image is an upside down image. Real images are always inverted, okay? So with lenses, <coughs> sorry, this image forms on the opposite um, side from the object that's being observed. For mirrors, the image forms on the same side as the object being observed, okay? Um, so mirrors, you stand in front of the mirror and you see a reflection, the reflection comes back to you, right? but it will look like the mirror um, is projecting an image behind it. Lenses, it's the opposite. Um, so then you have virtual images. And virtual images. These are formed by light rays 
that only appear to intersect. But they, they don't actually intersect. So they appear to, but they don't. Um, these types of images, they cannot be projected. The distance of the image is negative, okay, which means it's formed in front of the mirror. And the height of the image is positive, which means that it would be upright. So for lenses, these are formed on the same side as the object that you're looking at. And for mirrors, These form on the opposite side. Uh, from the object. So for mirrors, for real images, it, it looks like it looks like it bounces back at you and it's kind of it's projected in a weird way and it's upside down. For virtual images, it looks like your image is trapped behind the mirror. Okay, so virtual images look like that, and they're always upright. Okay, all right, so let's talk about a little math. Now, the formulas here, um, like this says an S, so I think I just didn't see that before I copied this and I put it on everything for everybody so I'm sorry but let's say this s let's say this is d for distance so these are d's same here these are d's okay the thin lens equation says um, 1 over the distance of the image from the mirror or the lens plus 1 over the distance of the actual object from the mirror or the lens is equal to 1 over the focal point the focal point is like, it's a length either in front of or behind the mirror, okay? And it depends on which type of image you have, where the focal point will be, and what type of mirror or lens. So, DO is the object distance, which has to be in meters, but if this is in meters and this is in meters, then this should be in meters. But if this is in centimeters and this is in centimeters, then this is perfectly fine to be in centimeters. They just all have to have the same distance unit. And the DI would be image distance. Again, meters. And the F, this is the focal length, which is the length from the actual lens or mirror to the focal point of the lens or mirror. The magnification, this just determines if something is magnified or reduced. Um, so M is the magnification, which has no units. It's like how many times it's magnified, like one time, two times, half times, which means it's smaller, it's reduced. Um, H O, this is the object height. HI is the image height. These should be in meters as well. But again, if your distances are in centimeters, then these are fine to be in centimeters. But if, if there are, it's either they all have to be in meters or all in centimeters, millimeters, whatever, but they have to have all the same unit. The radius of curvature, because we're talking about lenses and mirrors, if it's not a plain flat mirror, it's curving. So your radius of curvature, which is what R is, is basically how, how much it's curving. And 
again, that's meters, but if everything is in centimeters, it's fine to be in centimeters. You can leave it all in centimeters. Okay, moving on. Okay, so I think I just used a term. I just said plane flat mirror. So let's talk about what a plane flat mirror does. A plane flat mirror is like what you stand in front of in the morning um, when you're assessing how you look. It's, it's basically, it's gonna give you a virtual image which means you'd have a negative DI and a positive HI and your magnification equals one. So if your magnification equals one, that means your HI is equal to your HO and your um, DI is equal to your DO, okay? So you, it's not magnified. So that basically means you have the same actual size. But because it's a virtual image, when you stand in front of a mirror, if you, raise, if you, um, if you wave your right hand, your image is waving its left hand. That's basically what a virtual image is. It's almost, if you're taking chemistry, it basically looks chiral, okay? Um, okay, so let's talk about mirrors. So there's two different types of mirrors that you have to know about, okay? One of them is a concave mirror. Now, concave and convex do different things. So concave mirrors, okay, the, the, um, the light rays will hit. So you have one that hits just straight on. And so the light from that bounces straight back. Um, you may have light that hits here and here. But what happens is because it's curved, it's going to bounce. And this one is going to bounce. Where that intersects, that is your F. Okay? And you get a positive F because it's in front of the mirror. So concave, you get a real uh, focal point, which means you have positive F. And so this can produce a real image. Okay, so basically you have a few situations here. If the distance of the object is further away than the focal length, then you have a real image, which means you have a positive DI and a negative HI. So you have an image coming in front of the mirror and your object is inverted. If the distance of the object is put in front of the mirror at the exact focal point, then no image will be seen. It basically just looks like a jumble of colors. Just nothing is there. You can't tell what it is. It's just a jumble of colors. Um, if the distance of the object is in between the focal point and the mirror, so in there, okay? Oh, sorry, didn't mean that. There. Less than, there we go. If the distance of the object is less than the focal length, then you get a virtual image, which means you have a negative DI and a positive HI, so you get an image that's produced as if it were behind the mirror or trapped in the mirror. And this image for this virtual one be between the focal point and the mirror, the, I'm sorry, the object, you always, um, this one is always magnified. Okay, so your M is greater than one, or you could say that your H I is greater than your HO. The height of your image is greater than the height of your object. So 
that would be basically like a makeup mirror. Um, so a lot of people have those like lighted mirrors in their bathroom and you have to get kind of close to it to see because you have to be between the mirror and the focal point and it will magnify you and make you look bigger if you and, and you're upright but if you if you go behind that focal point so if you put the mirror far enough away from you you get to the focal point it looks like a jumble of colors you can't see an image and if you keep going back you will turn upside down and you will be probably smaller I think it makes an image that's always a little bit smaller um, so if the image itself is real okay so if your distance the object is beyond the focal point if the image is real then you have your distance of the object is greater if it's greater than twice the focal length then you get a smaller image. So your magnification is less than one, um, which basically means the height of your image is less than the height of your object. If the distance of your object is equal to F and the image is real, if it's a focal length away, then you get um, you get an image that's the same size. So your magnification is one, which basically means your height of your image is equal to the height of your object. Okay, um, but typically, if your distance to the object is equal to the focal length, you don't have an image. But if there was an image, it would be the same size. Okay. And if the distance of your object is less than twice the focal length, okay, then you get an image that is larger, still upside down, but larger, which means your magnification is greater than one, which means the height of your image is greater than the height of your object. So if you go far enough back, I mean, it's, you're getting smaller and smaller, but it's not just because, um, it's not just because you're moving away from the mirror. It's because if you go beyond twice the focal length, your magnification changes. Oh wait, this is wrong. I'm sorry. If your distance to the object, I'm not re-recording the whole thing. Sorry. I meant to say 2F right here, not F. I just misread my own handwriting. Okay. There we go. So if your distance object is greater than 2F, you have a smaller image. So if it's like way, way far away, smaller image. If it's right at 2F, you have an image that's the same size. If it's less than 2F, still behind the focal point, but further away, then you get a larger image. Okay? So keep going back you get smaller and smaller basically but you're still for all of these you're still inverted you're still upside down okay um, okay so of course you couldn't see the whole thing there you go there's the whole thing if you have a diverging lens sorry mirror which is a convex mirror okay your light rays are going to hit the surface so some will bounce straight back. And then that one, it's hitting a curved surface that's curving away. So it almost like a, it spreads out. Well, so what happens is the focal point then where the light rays would cross is behind the mirror. So if it's behind the mirror, you have a negative focal point. Okay. So in this case, you get a virtual focal point. So that would be negative focal point because it's behind the mirror. So you always get this you always get the same type of image for these. Always, always, always. Okay? 
So it's not this, if this is this, if this is this, then you get different. This one, it's always the exact same. So the image is always virtual, which means you have a negative DI, okay? It is always upright, so you have a positive height of the image and it is always reduced, which means your magnification is less than one, which also means the height of the image is less than the height of the object. Okay, so these are always like this, always, always, okay? So the image, it's virtual, so it's formed behind the mirror. The focal point is behind the mirror, which means you get upright and reduced. So think of this type of mirror as the rear view mirror on the side of your car or truck or whatever you're driving, okay? This is what it looks like. Also, mirrors in parking garages that allow you to see around corners, okay? I will do another video with um, some example problems, but this was the lesson, and I'll do one or two example problems in another video, and then you are free to start your homework. Good luck. Have a great day.